Hello and welcome to my next foundation video and this time we're going to talk about the grid system. Um, just about every front end framework you come across uh, on the web is going to have some type of grid built into it and it's one of the things that makes these uh, frameworks so popular. Um, some people choose to create their own or some utilize um, open source tools like this one. Um, the grid is a 12 column grid and I have a tool here in my browser and if I turn it on you'll see that um, our, our example page is set up and tucked nice and neat within this uh, grid. Uh, this is a 12 column grid and it's uh, fully responsive so that means it's 12 columns all the way down to mobile. Um, just going to go ahead and hide that. Um, as I said it's a 12 column grid and um, and we're going to go over how to set one up. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to my text editor and I have the index.html file open up and I'm going to go ahead and just delete everything that came within this package. I'm going to delete everything between uh, this script tag and the opening of the body tag. Just like that. So starting out, you should just have your head with your uh, link to your style sheet and your JavaScript included uh, at the top and the bottom, and just an empty body. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. Now the first class you're going to want to learn or memorize or get used to using is the row class. And the row class is what's used to um, break your site down into different sections. And I'll show you what I'm talking about in a minute. But for now, uh, you can look at it as uh, containing all of the columns um, in your grid. Now the second class you're going to have to be aware of is the columns class. And the columns uh, divide your row vertically into uh, different columns on your site. So if we go back and we look at our example, you can see that this class has six columns or excuse me, this, this panel has six columns and this panel is also six columns. So again, they um, divide your rows into section. Now, really quickly, if we take another look at our example, you might be looking at this and thinking, hey, you just showed me the overlay that had 12 columns that stretched across the whole screen. And now you're telling me that there's six in here. Well, uh, the reason why these are still technically six columns is because uh, the foundation grid system allows for nesting of these rows and columns. So, as you can see here, this 12 column section here is actually, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight columns across the entire section. So, it's 12 columns nested within eight. And um, technically, if you wanted to, you can nest them infinitely. So within this panel here of six columns, if I were to add two more divs uh, within that containing div and added six more columns uh, to each of the divs, they would not be the same width as its parent. It would be half the size or only six columns. And again, uh, this will all make sense in a minute once we actually start. Um, applying some of this stuff to our code. Okay, so there are three other classes uh, that you should be aware of, but they're a little bit different. Um, the first one is for small screens. And um, it goes like this, small dash, and then um, not the hashtag sign or the number sign, but you would actually use it as you know small dash 12 all the way down to one um, for medium sized screens it works the same way or you could think of this as your tablets um, you would set the class up like so and then for large as you can probably guess by now is the same way only each column number will be prefixed with the word large <laughs> 